Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It's 11.55 a.m. according to a computer clock on Friday, April 12, 2019. And here's the latest stuff that I got since my last update. After I went to see Captain Marvel, I stopped by the metaphysical store again and I got this book, which I had was looking at the pre on the previous day, and I finally decided to get it after reading some reviews online. It's called A Little Bit of Wicca, An Introduction to Witchcraft, by Cassandra Easton, I guess. I mean, I've, I've read a lot of stuff about various religions online, so I'm pretty sure that I can find all of this information on the internet, but I thought, eh, why not? Um, okay, this next one, I saw Alita Battle Angel, of course, I love the song at the end, um, Swan Song by Dua Lipa, so when I happened to be in Target and I went to Electronics, I happened to see this, didn't plan on getting it, but I was like, yeah, okay her uh, album and it's the complete edition which means there are a bunch of uh, tracks that are not on here that I have to get either on Amazon or on YouTube if they're not available in this region like yeah it's like it's weird different countries get their own editions of the album with different tracks on them and why do, why do corporations do that? But yeah, this is... I've started listening to it and I really enjoy it. So uh, I've gotten into a new artist. Really, I knew nothing about her. I had heard the name before, though. Like, prior to uh, seeing Alita Battle Angel. And I saw her name in the credits. I'm like, okay, I... I've heard that name before. I just don't remember where. Um, anyway. I uh, got some new earbuds at Walmart. They're hooked up to my computer right now. Uh, old ones keep getting damaged or whatever, probably they're prob they probably just sit on the floor and I run over them with my computer chair or whatever um finally Bumblebee on Blu-ray I got this on release date because I just love this movie Um, yeah. And I already watched it, so, <laughs> again, <laughs> it comes with a free, it come, there's a bunch of bonuses, and I love that the Blu-ray's packed so full with bonuses, including the lead scenes, which I'm, in my opinion should have been in the film. But it's great that they're included anyway, so it also comes with like a motion comic uh, type of thing. And also an actual comic. So I'm not sure if it's the same story or not. This is the battle at Half Dome. And this is uh, Bumblebee's next adventure, so I don't know. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, and you've probably heard um, Coco meowing. He was crawling along the windowsills here. Now he went under the table somewhere. Yeah, and there's his feet. Hi, Coco. Coco, do you want to come on camera? Come on, sweetie. Let's see if we can get Coco on camera. Where'd he go? Yeah? Yes. Do you want do you want to come out? Hi. Yes. Hi. 
Here's Coco. <laughs> Say hi to the internet, Coco. Okay, he doesn't want to be in my lap now. He's off in a lap cat. He loves to be in my lap. But on his own time. Uh, if I take him into my lap, he might not like it and he'll jump down. Sometimes he'll stay, but often not. Um, other than that, what's been going on with me? I'm nearing the end of the Firebrand, so then I'll get into sort of Avalon. I've got only... Four chapters left of the Firebrain, I think. I'm not sure exactly. I've fallen behind schedule and reading. I try to read one chapter per day, but that doesn't happen often. Um, watch. I'm watching The Vampire Diaries and Bitten on Netflix. Uh, bitten because I remember Laura Vandervoort from Smallville, so she was the original Kara, so... Well, Helen Slater was the original Kara, but you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, so I'm watching Bitten, and I'm kind of alternating with the Vampire Diaries, but now part two of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina has come out, so I'm trying to watch that too, in addition to stuff that I have on home video. So... It's so like I finished Bumblebee, now I'm watching Jupiter Ascending, and also Troy, which is actually, that's my mom's DVD, it's one of the DVDs that she bought on Black Friday, like, who knows how many years ago, probably a decade ago already, I don't know, and she, we've just never gotten around to watching them, um, But I'm watching it because it's based on the Iliad and Odyssey, just like the Firebrand. So it's interesting to see these characters that I'm reading about in this novel on on the screen, you know. Um, although I don't think Cassandra's in it, <laughs> and she's the main character of the Firebrand. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Uh, That, that's about it for me. Oh, um, on Sunday, my computer kind of conked out. I took it into the shop. It conked out on, like, Sunday morning. I had to restart it because it was glitching or whatever, and it never restarted. So I took it into the shop on Monday morning, picked it up, like, Wednesday, late morning, early afternoon, somewhere around there. I think late morning. Anyway, um... The official diagnosis was uh, probably a loose connection or something. He fiddled with the wires and took the RAM stick out, put it back in. Seems to be working, so who knows. Um, and that's about the most exciting thing that's happened to me recently. Yeah, um, there's not much excitement around here. <laughs> Which is a good thing, I suppose. Um, Uh, so that, that's, that's it, I, I think, um, it's 12.04pm, and thanks for watching.